In this in vivo 12 for Mac demonstration, I'm going to show you how auto coding works. Auto coding works differently than in the Windows version, but just like the Windows version, you have to think in advance about how you would format your data if you want to use auto coding. The reason for using auto coding is when you might have a structured data set where they could be coded, for instance, by the questions in the survey or certain other kinds of sort of recurring structures in the data. If you happen to have that sort of data, as we do in the backpack surveys where we have five questions that were asked of all the families, it definitely is worth thinking about formatting your data in advance so that it can be auto-coded. The only kind of data that can be auto-coded in the Mac version is a data set that has the data arranged into a spreadsheet structure with rows and columns. And the data is imported in the form of an Excel worksheet. You cannot auto-code narrative data. To be clear, I'll show you what the data set would need to look like. Um, here is just a sample of the backpack survey data for five of the children that has been put into an Excel spreadsheet. I've taken the child's name, put them in the first column, their school, their classroom, and then each of the survey questions gets its own column, and I've just simply cut and pasted the family's answers and put them in the correct box. To autocode this data, in in vivo, the first thing you have to do is to import your data set. The way you do that is to go to the data tab. You'll find that one of the choices in the import group is data set. So I'm going to click on data set. I'm going to browse out and find my data set on the on the desktop. I'm going to open it. And then the import da data set assistant will sort of walk us through making sure that we're making the right choices for our data. By the way, before you start importing a data set, you should definitely check the in vivo help pages to make sure that you've got your data set formatted in the correct way. You could have, um, for instance, an empty row would cause it not to import correctly. So you want to check that out. The thing that's relevant to this data set on this page is that the first row contains field names. And so I've got that clicked because it does. There it says first name, school, classroom, and the question numbers. Click next on step three. Now, the step three is asking us which kind of data is in each column. For, according to InVivo, there are two types of data. There is classifying data, that's sort of your demographics, and then there's codable data that you want to be able to code with nodes later on. So you need to look at each column and make sure that it's been correctly identified by the assistant. And sometimes it has not. Sometimes you'll need to make a change. So we're going to look at the first column. Um, and we can just click on it and we get the information below. It is a classifying field, that's correct. The school data, again, a classifying field, classroom classifying field. Question one, notice that it says analysis type classifying field. That is not correct. I need to change that, so I'm going to uh, use the pop-up box here and change it to codable field. Question two says codable field. Question three, four, five, and, and five all say codable text, so we should be good to go. So I'm going to press the next button. It says we're ready to import. I'm going to import the data set. One thing I had a bit of trouble figuring out is where in the world would the data set go, but of course it makes sense. It actually goes under data, under files, and in this case, because the surveys folder was highlighted, it will be in the surveys folder. And if you notice, it goes into the list of other, uh, other survey files under the name that was given to the survey data set. So it says backpack survey data set. If I click on that, I can see all of the backpack survey data right here. And if I click on it, you can see that um, the columns that are white are codable. The columns that are light gray are classifying fields. They are not codable. That's not surprising. So if we enter our data like this into InVivo, then we would be coding directly from these columns in the data set. So I can drag and drop them. I can code them in all the different ways that we've already seen if we decided that we were going to um, format our data in this way. Now the data has not yet been auto-coded, so that's going to be our next step. So you need to have clicked inside of your data set, go back to Analyze, and you'll see that there's an auto-code button that's active. Click that and click data set and it's going to walk us through the auto coding process. The first question is whether we want to code at nodes for the selected columns or whether we want to code at cases for each value in a column. So I think the easiest thing to do first is to code at nodes for selected columns so therefore all of the data under the 
question one column will be co coded to a question one node. All of the data in the question two column will be coded to a question two node. It asks us to um, choose which of the codable columns, the available columns we want to autocode. I'm going to autocode all of them, so I'm going to use the right arrow to move them over to the selected columns box. We will want to code to a new node because we don't have an existing node for question one, question two, question three, and so forth, and we're going to tell it to autocode. It does it very quickly. We'll find the nodes, just like other nodes, in the nodes folder, and like the um, like the file, it's under. They're all put together. All the nodes will be together under Backpack Survey Data Set. And here we have a set of nodes for question one, question two, question three, question four, question five. And if I click on question one, I get all of the answers to question one in one spot, and all of the answers to question two in one spot. Now, I would really like these answers to also be coded to a node for the correct child, that is to a case for the correct child. So if we go back to our data set and click on it, click inside it, we can go back to autocode it a second time, and this time let's code at cases for each value in a column. The column that contains the case names is, says first name, so I'm choosing that. And again, I want to code all of the codable columns, question one, question two, and so forth. I'm going to use the right arrow to put that into the select columns box. And I'm going to code to a new case. Now, I really wish I could figure a way so that it would code to the cases for each child that already exist in my data set. But I have not been able to figure a way to do that. And maybe somebody will be able to, to figure that out and I can revise this video. But for now, I'm going to code to a new case and I'm going to tell it to autocode. So to look at the cases, we're going to come down in navigation view to where it says cases. And I've already created a case for every child in a different way. So I, but you'll find that I have a new set of cases for this data that we've just brought in as part of the data set. And um, it'll be under a label that says backpack survey data set. The only way I know at the moment to link this data to the children's larger cases is to do that by hand. So for example, I can take Kayla's case under backpack survey data set and I can simply pull it down and drop it on top of her case. It will become a child node of the larger case. And then I can check by double clicking on her the parent node to make sure that this, this button aggregate coding from child nodes is clicked and then the case that we've just created will become part of the larger case. And I would have to do that for every child. I'd love to know that there was a way to, to link those nodes, but I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. So, at the moment, you'll, I suggest that you play with this a little bit and think about whether it works for you. And write back to me. Let me know if you figure a way to link to already uh, developed cases.